Welcome to the Virtual Speaker Tutorials. Today we learn how to get started using Virtual Speaker to convert a text into a sound file. Virtual Speaker is a software product from Acapella Group, able to convert any text into audio files that can be used in many applications, like e-learning, telecom, video voiceover, messaging system and many more. In this tutorial we will learn the basics of the Virtual Speaker interface. After launching Virtual Speaker we will see the main screen. In the middle of the screen you have the text editor. On the left side you can browse the working folders. In the source folder you typically collect the text files you want to convert to audio while the destination folder is used to store the corresponding audio files. On the right side you can browse among tags and sounds. Tags are particular commands that can be used to change the text to speech settings right in the middle of a text, for instance to switch voices, modify speech rate, and so on. Sounds are instead commands used to add and mix music and sound effects into the text. Under Sounds you will also find a list of all the audio files that you have imported into Virtual Speaker. The status bar shows a resume of all the current text-to-speech settings. And also the time credits still available on your license. The name of the current project configuration is instead displayed in the top bar. Let's have a look at Settings and Projects. To open the Settings box, click the Project Property icon in the Task Bar. The Project Properties box appears. On the left side you will see the list of existing project settings. The first tab is called Info, and it displays the current settings. In the Folders tab we can select the location of the Source and Destination folders. In the File Format tab we can select the file format for the audio output. There are many audio file formats available to match different kind of applications. The Voice Settings tab is where you select the language and the voice for the text-to-speech. Here you can also set the volume, speed and shaping parameters for the selected voice. Now that we are acquainted with the interface, let's learn how to make a recording. Virtual Speaker allows you to work in two different modes, called Interactive and Batch mode. Today we learn how to make recordings in Interactive mode, meaning by creating files one by one. Batch mode will be explored in another tutorial. Make sure you have selected the desired settings, then type a text or open a text file. Then click on Listen to hear the result. Adjust the text and the settings until you are completely satisfied with what you hear. When you feel ready, click on the Record button. If you edited the text file you will be asked to save the text file first. Then you will be asked to choose where to save the sound file. The destination folder will be used as default. When the sound file is generated and saved, you will see that an audio player is shown under the text. You can use the audio player to play the sound file we just created. You will also note that the audio time remaining on license is also updated and that the sound file is shown in the destination folder. That's it. We just created our first recording using Virtual Speaker. In this tutorial we learned how to use the Virtual Speaker interface and also how to create a sound file using the interactive mode. Thank you for your attention.